Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry. Thank you for choosing to watch my video today. Today's video is a Costco shopping haul. I have spent £443.93. It was supposed to be a small shop. Yes, but Christmas is coming, so there's my excuse. And I was on my own today, so I have no excuse really. I did, however, not buy some things that I was going to buy. I'm trying to be better and put things back to where I need it. Am I going to use it? Am I just buying it because it's in a pretty box? Which is what happens all the time at Costco. So it's a bit of a, um, a mismatch. I've got some presents. I've got some things to put away for Christmas. I've got some things for now. And some um, stocking up essentials. So I'll turn you around and I'll show you what we bought. Or oh, what I bought. Steve didn't come. Just me. <laughs> Here we go. We'll start with this rug. Because I want to put it on the floor. Because I'm frightened it's going to fall. It is a heavy duty entrance mat but I'm going to put it outside it's all weather there you see you see it's gonna fall off the table in the picture it's on outside so I'm going to put on the floor I'm gonna put that outside it's not it's maybe a meter is it a meter so it's tell you how big it is mm, no anti-slip all weather absorbent easy clean um, so that's going to go outside um, because the children are bringing in loads and loads of mud and it's all over the hallway and I'm sick of it. So just for my sanity, that's all, <laughs> that's all that is. And we bought some, I bought some Roku gin because it's on special offer. It was £21 or £20 including VAT and it's delicious so it'll just go in the cupboard. We don't have any gin I don't think. We'll be getting the gin... Um, craft gin Christmas box soon but just because it's on special offer I haven't bought this particular one for ages because I've been waiting because I knew it would come on offer it's really good if you know anybody who likes gin and you want to get them a gift this is excellent really really excellent some star of Pramen, a big box of 24 worked out at less than a pound a bottle I think it was was it 18 pounds 90 or something for the whole box so that's really good. We've got guests and things coming around at Christmas and family members and they can have a beer if they want one or if not, they don't need to have to. And some crispy Belgian chocolate thins, a caramel sea salt. How good do they look? On my way out the shop, I spotted them on the way to the till and I just thought they look amazing. So there we go. No, no excuse needed. They just look delicious. Um, I will keep them for handing out when people are here at Christmas though. Diet Coke, as usual, normal Costco, and some kettle chip crisps and mint mem individual bags to go in the big box on top of the fridge that we have crisps in. We've got baking potatoes, but they're just like Maris Piper, so I use them for everything. They're really good. These are my mother in law's, Issa Steve's mum's. She asked me to pick us some up, and mine are in the cupboard, I've already put them away. And some naan breads. Uh, there's 12 in there. These freeze amazingly. I um, put them into little bags of two, put them in the freezer, in the garage, and then when we want to use them, I pop them in the toaster. And jobs are good and works really, really well. Some lettuce, which I forgot, and I was up that far side of the warehouse and had to walk all the way back, but never mind, keep me fit. Um, just to eat for lunches and on the side of things, I'm not really... I don't know. I don't really fancy anything in particular at the moment, so I, I'll, I will I will eat a bowl of lettuce with some tomatoes and salad cream, so that'd be nice. Some Jacob's crackers. Stee was well. I wasn't really listening to him, to be honest. Talking about something to do with them, they might be hard to get. There's a problem at the factory or something. I don't know. But these were only three pound fifty for the big box, and they last until next year. Something like. December next year or November next year and it's in the sealable box so if we use them we do if we don't we don't we'll keep them um some organic grains couscous lentils and quinoa and it's flavored with um courgettes peppers aubergines and tomatoes and they're six individual packets I thought that would be really nice is something easy to do for lunch I'm really bad I eat terribly I skip breakfast, I hardly ever eat lunch, and then I snack all afternoon on the stuff I'm making for the kids or just something I see, and then I eat dinner really late at night. I'm really terrible. So let's uh, try and be a bit more conscious about how I do it. And it's probably, it'd be no good for me eating that way. So I'll, I'm never hungry at breakfast, and I don't, maybe the kids, no, we'd want, I mean, I do make the children have breakfast because I don't want them to be hungry at school. 
so it's not from that. I just drink a big cup of coffee. It's really terrible. Anyway, enough about me. Uh, chia seeds. Steve likes these on his breakfast. He has oats and yogurt and frozen fruit and chia seeds and things, so that's for him. These are chocolate drops to go. They, you put them in a glass or a, a cup of hot milk. You put five in, stir them round, and it makes um uh what do you call it? Hot chocolate, and it's a uh, fair trade as well apparently, not apparently, it says so on the back so they would be really nice for the children, they do like a hot chocolate some batteries, if you have children you know you go through batteries like crazy or somebody who uses a gaming console uh, they are the Kirkland ones I normally buy Duracell because we all buy into that I, it might be a myth, I don't know, that Duracell lasts longer than all the others because of the bunny the Duracell <laughs> bunny goes on and on, oh is that something else, is that the Energizer bunny anyway marketing so I'm going to try these it was £8.50 for 48 batteries and the Duracell ones were um, £10.50 or £11.20 so we're going to try these and even if the batteries last half the amount of time as what the Duracell one did they were still cheaper from more than double so still works out well some Pink Lady apples for Isaac, Eris and Steve they like the well Eris likes a red apple if it's got any green on it whatsoever, <laughs> it's not a red apple, it's a green apple, I can't eat it. So, I get those ones. Onkin yoghurt for Steve. Some wraps. Three packs of eight. So I just separate them. They're like all stuck together and freeze them. A tray of 24 cans of Rio Light Tropical. It's like sparkling tropical water. It's really nice and it um, has no calories in it and it has no sugar in it. Two loaves of bread for the freezer because I've got one in the bread bin. A medley of tomatoes. I'm going to cook those with some garlic, some sage, and some olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Maybe Friday or Saturday night for tea for steamy with some bread. I'm going to just dip it in, and we've got a little bit of cheese of Comte in the. Uh, I fancy it. I don't fancy cheese actually. Anyway, I digress. But yes, I'm going to make that into a dip, and I'll eat them for lunches when I try and eat lunch. Butter. This butter was three pounds fifty for five hundred grams. In Sainsbury's the other day, I paid £1.99 for 250 grams, so I thought I'd buy a few while I'm in there before it goes up again because I've got a Christmas cake to make and I have got Eris's birthday cake to make. Some Anchor Spreadable, some um, vegetable stock cubes, I've ran out, I'm onto my last ones. Some coffee, the Kirkland House Blend, I love this coffee, it is roasted by Starbucks and it that, not that I care about Starbucks, but it's just really, really good coffee. Some Cathedral City, big one, that was £3.50. Um, bag of mozzarella, I don't need any this week, but the date on it is January, and I'm struggling to find mozzarella in the shops. Some coconut milk, six, I don't have any, so I'll put those in the garage, and they work out at less than a pound a tin. Some Posata Rustica, really like this one. I can't get it in our supermarket and it was on special offer. So the six there, so if you bought two, it was £6.49, I think. So it's like £1.5, £1.8 a jar. Some pasta, some uh, penne, just to keep us going and it's a, it was a good deal. And I'll just pop that in the garage and then seal it and put it in a box and take out what we want and put that in a jar. Some of this fresh filled pasta, buffalo milk, mozzarella, tomato and basil. And I think Steve and I will have some of that tonight with some pesto. Some Cadbury's Heroes yogurts for the children. Sausages. These sausages were £5.90 I think, or £5.80 for 18 sausages. 18, yes. And I pay two seventy five in Tesco's for six, so it's um no-brainer. And uh, some comfort, we've run out, got none left, and we've got loads of washing to do. Some of these aerial uh, pods, I couldn't find the aerial liquid I normally buy, and this was on special offer. It worked out at 20 pence a wash, I think. Maybe. I'm sure it was 20.1 pence a wash, and it was £20 something, including VAT. Some rapeseed oil, I've ran out completely, so just picked one up. Some of these um, chocolate salted caramel protein bars it's open because I've eaten one and it was delicious I'm starving and I just thought I just need something quick as I'm going to snack 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 I've got to go and get the children in a minute and um 
really, really tasty. I really like them. So they're going to be hidden because they want, they're one pound something a bar and the children don't need to eat them. I think they've got something like 20 grams of protein per bar or I'm sure I saw it on the back. It was 20 grams. So that's good for me because I don't eat meat and fish. And some sellotape. Always need loads of sellotape. Christmas is coming. I'm going to wrap all the presents. And then some ribbon. So I've got this green one, but, and it is double sided. There we go, red. And they've got wire, it's wired, is it saying wired ribbon? Wire edged ribbon. So I'm going to make some bows for my little Christmas trees I've got outside. And I'm going to, and this one as well was really pretty. It was eight pounds a roll. And there's loads of it, so it'll last till next year as well. And I'll just put it away. But I haven't found any I liked. So I've got red and green for the hallway and then the, the red shiny one for outside. Um, it's got like a, a, like a diamond pattern on it. And to make some bows and to wrap through a garland I've found for my stairs. And then I've got a few presents and a couple of nice little things. Uh, this is for Steve for Christmas, so he's not allowed to watch this video. And he won't because I told him not to. He's read all of Tolkien. He's just read the Similarian. Silmalirian? Sima? I can't say it. I forget what it's called all the time. And he's got the Children of Hurin as well. So I thought he would like that one. This is for Eris. Forgotten Tales of Brave and Brilliant Girls. Because she's a brave and brilliant girl. So I'm oh, sure you'll enjoy that. It's got like Snow White and Rose Red and the Brave Princess. And it'd be lovely. Um, ten Christmas books for the children. So it worked out at a pound each. And we've got loads of different little Christmas stories in there for them to read leading up to Christmas, which is lovely. I always like to get a Christmas book for them, but ten is a bargain. Bob Mortimer, the Satsuma Complex. I have never seen Steve laugh as much. He giggles, in fact. He doesn't just laugh, he giggles when he listens to Bob Mortimer on his podcast or watches him on um, Would I Lie to You. He l thinks he's hilarious, so he loves to read, so I've got him this and hopefully he will enjoy it. I picked up a dress for Eris. She's had asked me for a star dress. Now, I don't know where I'm going to get a star dress from, but this is blue and it twinkles, so I thought maybe I might get away with telling her it's the night sky <laughs> with stars on, maybe, and it's got like this little velvety shrug with it. It was only 16 Sixteen ninety nine. so Father Christmas will deliver that for her. And these are for Isaac and Eris. For now, a unicorn um, all-in-one onesie and a dinosaur one. Um, heat ourselves, not the house. That's our motto this year. And then we've got some leggings for me. They're like, um, they look like, they feel like tights. But they're leggings and they're fleecy lined. So that's for me to just mooch around in the house in over the winter. And then this, I texted and I said, can I get myself an early Christmas present? And I got home and he's like, are you really just going to put that away? I was like, maybe not. So it was £35 and it had really good reviews. So I'm hoping it's going to help give my hair a little bit more body. And I found it for 45 somewhere online. And then after that, it was 80 Argos are selling it for 80 So I thought um, it was a really good deal. And I've always wanted one and I can't afford that um, Dyson thing. What is it? Air wrap. So this will do. It dries. My hair is really fine, so it dries quickly anyway. So this dries and styles, or sort of. And I don't really style it unless I've washed it. So maybe this will help, because <laughs> I'm lazy with it. But there we go. There is our shop. What did I say it was? 443. So it's because I've got some expensive things in there. And, well, it's because it's bulk, isn't it? So it's mostly really expensive. But that is this week's Costco shop. I am going again in a couple of weeks. So that's why I didn't get loads and loads. And I haven't decided what I'm going to make for meals. So I didn't get much food either. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing this week. It's been a bit all over the place. I've had loads to do. So I um, will go to the supermarket to get some food for the next few days. And then in a couple of weeks' time... When I go back, I'll get some food to last us, hopefully, until Christmas and when I go again and get our Christmas food. Fingers crossed they sell Brussels sprouts. I don't know. Do Costco sell them? Anyway, I digress. That is my shop. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've seen some nice treats in there that you think, ooh, that looks nice. I might quite like those, especially these. 
I think they look amazing. Um, but I'm going to put all this away and go and collect the children and make some tea. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!